In this Sudoku Primer video, we find a way to keep going when we get stuck. When you can't find the next number, keep looking, and don't rule out any technique that might help you, no matter how simple. Years ago, I worked with a person who would get phone calls, sometimes in the middle of the night, when a computer system went down. He always started at the basics when troubleshooting. He would ask if the system was plugged in, even though people would get upset when he asked such a simple question. But he learned that we often tend to overlook the simple things. When solving Sudoku puzzles, it can be the same. We may miss the simpler things looking for some advanced technique to find the next number. This is puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, Volume 133. And before I get started, I want to mention that you still have a chance to win a Sudoku Primer t-shirt. Until November 23rd, 2020, you can enter a drawing on the Sudoku Primer website where you have a chance to win one of five t-shirts. Click on the link below the video to enter the drawing, or just go to sudokuprimer.com Click on the menu and you'll see the drawing. All right, well, I gave the first number. This one was pretty easy to find. There's a one right here. I've got a one here and a one here and a one there. So we have a one, ghost ones, and a one goes there. That one's easy too. There's a two here and a two here. So that's a two. All right, we've only got two numbers left in uh, row five here. It's a four and a nine. There's a four there. All right, now we've got an L pattern right here. And we've got a one and an eight already in, the, in this box, but we don't have a five or a seven. So these are five, seven twins and we can solve them easily. Now let me point something out here in box two. Let's look at that a little bit. We've got a five and an eight already in the box, but we don't have a six or a nine. We have a six here and a nine there, so we know these are six nine twins. We also know we have ghost twos here, a two there, a two here, so one of these is a two. We also have seven, 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 so these are two seven twins. So six nine twins, two seven twins, and only two numbers left after these two sets of twins, three four twins. We can't solve any of them, but uh, keep those in mind. We'll be using them um, to our advantage here pretty soon. Alright, we've got a 7 here. Ghost 7's here. So one of these is a 7. We've got 7's here already, so that's a 7 right there. Alright, now let's look at this row right here, row 7. We're missing 2, 4, 6, 8. There's a two or an uh, there's a two six and eight so that's a four. Here's a six or an a six and an eight so that's a two right there. All right. Now we we're already kind of stuck here. Um, There's not much we could do right now, but there's a relatively simple um, solution to finding a, another number. And once we find that solution, um, it'll help us quite a bit. If you'd like to see if you can find it, um, pause the video here. Otherwise, I'll just continue on. Uh, 
in let's look at box three right here. We've got a five and a six in row one. We've got a five and a six in row or column eight. Okay, five, six, five, six. So we got a five in one of these two cells and a six in one of these three. Well, we've also got a th um, threes here already. So one of these is a three. So we have three, five, six triplets right here. Um, three, five, six. Okay. Now, um, let's see what we can do with that. Well, we've got an eight here and an eight here. So we have ghost eights here and an eight here. So one of these is an eight, and it can't be that one because of the triplets. So that's an eight right there. All right, now with that eight in place, we've got a four here, and we know a four has to be constrained to column eight here because we have three, five, six triplets here. So that gives us a four here, a four here, and using double row elimination, eliminates row one and row two, so the four has to be in one of these two spots. And if you remember, we have six nine twins there, two eight or two seven twins here, and three four twins there. So that is a four. Alright, um, one thing I wanted to mention about these triplets, triplets are relatively easy to find. Um, and we are kind of stuck in this puzzle. And because we found these triplets, we're starting to find numbers again. Now, since we have three four twins here, we can fill in the three right there. All right. We can also put a four right here, because we have ghost fours there, a four there, and a four here. So we can f put a four in box nine there. Also, we have only three and four missing here, so we can put those in. And now with that, we got a three here, three here. That's a three right there because of that three. All right. Now, let's see. We have two seven twins here, so we're missing one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine. One and three right there. We can solve them because there's a three right there. Now, without that four there, we wouldn't have been able to solve these because we'd have a three or four there, a one or a four there, and a one or a three there. So with that four, we're able to solve the one, three twins there. And we can also, we have six, nine, six and nine here, so that leaves four, eight here, and we can put those in too, because of this four here. All right, now we only have three numbers, uh, let's see, five, eight, and nine that go here. We've got an eight here and an eight here, so we know that's an eight. This has to be a nine because of that. And we know that that's a five. And with this nine, we can solve the six nine twins that we found on box five right there. And with these ones here, we can put in a one there. Now we have a five, six, and seven there. We got a seven, five, and six. So we can't solve that, or can we? Well, we've got a plus pattern right here, and a six in uh, row eight already, so we know the six is constrained to column two. So we have a five and ghost sixes, so that's a seven. And with that seven, we know the other two numbers too. All right. 
now be um remember we had the we filled in these two and the two and the four here but we couldn't um, solve the six or an eight yet but now we've got an eight here and an eight here so that's an eight right there and that makes that a six now we've got six 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 Yeah, five here and a five here. Five, five, so that's a five right there. All right, now we got seven, seven, and a seven there, so that's a seven right there. We have our two seven twins that we can solve now because of that seven. Now we only have two numbers left here, 3 and 9, and we can fill those in. And if I do something that you don't quite understand, um, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer your questions. All right, now let's see, we've got three 6 twins right here, or 3 and 6 are the only two numbers missing from column 7. So that's a 3 and that's a 6 right there. Okay, and we have 6 and 9 missing from here which we can fill in. Now box 7 is missing 2, 5, 8. 8 there. Let's see, 2, 5. So that's a 5 right there. 8, 2, right. only missing one number in row 9 there, that's a 9. All right, let's see what we got here. We're missing 1 and 2 there. Don't think we can solve that yet. Let's look at box 1 right here. We're missing a 4 and an 8 here and a 1 and a 9 there. So we can fill in the 1 and the 9, and the 4 and the 8. One box, uh, one, uh, box 3 is missing 1, 2, and 4 now. There's a 1, so that, that's a 1. And there's a 4 there, so we can put the 2 and the 4 in there. Now we can solve the 1 and 2 in box 9. And we're done. All right. Well, I think the takeaway from this video is keep looking when you get stuck. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.